Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So this is the Ubuntu desktop. So this is based on GNOME. But I do not like the default look of GNOME. So I do not like this. This is made for uh, tablets or so uh, to use with touch. For me this is useless. This looks like Android or like Windows 8. And we all know Windows 8 is terrible. So in this video I'm going to show you my full setup to get something that looks like this. So it looks more like the old GNOME 2 or the Mati desktop. So this is a lot more functional to use as a desktop if you do not use a touch. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. So I'm going to start with a server image without a desktop installed. This because then you can install all the programs that you need and nothing more will be installed. So the first thing we need to do is of course sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to be sure that everything is up to date. And after that we install the desktop. So sudo apt install ubuntu dash desktop. So this will only work on Ubuntu based images. So you cannot do this on Debian or Arch or so. There you can use GNOME but the default GNOME. For me the Ubuntu desktop has a few nice features that the default GNOME doesn't have. So once this is all installed we can reboot. So sudo reboot. And then we boot into our GNOME desktop for the first time. As I already mentioned, I do not like how this looks. It isn't functional as a desktop, but let's make it functional. I know I've showed this in many videos before, but too many people say GNOME sucks. I also think GNOME sucks, but you can unsuck it. So the first thing I do is install console. This is my favorite terminal. You install whatever terminal you want or just use the GNOME terminal. I install console because it's easy to increase the font size. So you can see what I'm doing. So I set console as favorites on my taskbar. So I just have to press the button to access it. And I first set up console. So I create a new profile, Nicod. I set it as default profile. In appearance I set the font size to 14 because I've got bad eyes. And now every time I open console it will be in font 14. And now let's change the first things in the appearance. So let's go to settings. There to appearance. There I auto hide the dog. I set it to 40. And I put it on the bottom. That looks a bit better. That's our first thing we need to do. Now we can install our GNOME apps that we need to finish the setup. So I install GNOME Disk Utility. This I use to burn images to SD cards or to format file systems. I install GNOME Shell Extensions. GNOME Shell Extension Manager. GNOME System Monitor. And GNOME Tweaks. I'm not gonna use GNOME Tweaks but it can be handy. So once this is installed we can open our extension manager. This is the only time that I'm gonna use this Android thingy. From now on I can use other things. So I will install my applications menu. Places status indicator. I put this to downloads and I search for resource monitor. There it is, I install it. Now sensory perception for my temperatures. I also install that. We will also need to install LM sensor for that. And CPU frec to show the CPU frequency of my biggest core. So here on the Kadas Film tree my biggest core is 2.4 GHz. I set up resource monitor 1 second. I disable disks because I do not need to see that. Network I disable the one I'm not using so I'm using Wi-Fi. That's how I like this. Now we need LM sensors to be able to use a temperature sensor. So I install LM sensors. So do I have to install LM sensors. And let's reboot. Sudo reboot. So here we are back. So now what do we have? So I can see my basic system information. 
So first I can see how busy the CPUs are, I can see how much RAM is used, and I can see how fast my network is downloading or uploading, and we can see our temperature, and then here we have got applications, so not much is installed yet, we will do that now, and I've got places to easily access folders. So now let's install some programs, so sudo apt install chromium dash browser, thunderbird, transmission, vlc, mpv, kodi, gimp, genie and audacious. So these are about all the programs that I use that I can think of right now. And now this is installed, so I will open all the programs that I want shortcuts to. So Disks, Audacious, Genie, Chromium, Transmission, Thunderbird Mail. I have to watch out, I'm on the Kadas Vim 2 with only 2 gigabytes of memory. I am easily out of memory. So for that GNOME isn't great, it does consume a bit more memory than most others. So now I do add to favorites for all of them, so they are easily accessible on my taskbar. And just with one click I can open my programs, instead of those three or four clicks that that android like system uses, that I really do not like. And then as last I will install ARM Cord. So this is a Discord client for ARM, very handy. So I download it. And I do sudo dpkg-i ARM cord. I open it and I also add it to my taskbar. There is one more thing, so if I open a folder and I go to other locations and I do connect to server, then I do not see the connect button, the connect button doesn't work. So for that we need to install gvfs-backends. So sudo apt install gvfs backends, then reboot again. And after that we can access our network devices. And one more thing, let's open audacious, so that's my audio player for my mp3 files. There I go to settings. And instead of GTK interface, I set Winamp Classic. I still use Winamp on my Windows computer and I will keep using it because it's just good. Something that's perfect cannot be improved. So that's it for today, you've seen my full setup for the Ubuntu desktop. It looks like the Matic desktop and I used to love the Matic desktop. Even on XFCE4 I made it look like this. So thank you all for watching, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, see you all later, bye!